Stop listening to sad music. Music is making you depressed. We get heartbroken and we spend time, plenty of time, making a sad playlist. You take all the time finding all the right songs, putting them all together, and then you listen to them to make you feel even more sad. What the hell are you doing? How about make a trying to feel better playlist? What about it? But I'm going to dive into this. The reason why I, you know, thought about this is because I had many um, experiences with this and I'm unboxing a guitar that I bought for myself. So um, I'll show you that at the end of the video. But um, yeah, stop listening to sad music on the regular. You know, like, you know, if you can handle it, enjoy it. If it's enjoyable, enjoy it. Some songs are very emotional, you know, highly melancholy or whatever, and they're pretty enjoyable. But don't become the music because those frequencies and vibrations that you're feeling, that you're hearing, it actually does something to your mind and it can be very unhealthy. So you just think about it. If you're sad, right, and you listen to sad music, what it's doing is making you feel comfortable. And you are comfortable in your sadness. You are comfortable in an environment of emotional disarray. That's why when people get depressed and stuff, their room usually looks a mess. Everything is always out and they don't throw away their trash. They don't put away their clothes because it's, it makes them feel comfortable. So the same thing happens when you listen to the sad music. You're becoming comfortable in the fact that you don't want to change. You don't want to go through the uncomfortable process of cleaning up you don't want to go through the uncomfortable process of feeling better and moving past things and dealing with things because as we know solving problems is very difficult but that's why the rewards and stakes are so high but to stay the same and to stay in that low level of energy is very easy but it's not very rewarding so stop because it's not healthy and it's, this is not on a small scale. This junk is happening like all over the world. A lot of the problems that we have in today with mental health and uh, violence and everything is coming from this music and the frequencies that we're being fed. All these sad TikToks and reels and slideshows, all those things matter. We literally go through heartbreaks and you know, just tough times in life. And we watch these reels and we watch these slideshows and listen to this music. And it's like you getting your heart broken a hundred times over and over every day, right? You watch a hundred sad TikToks, you feel that same heartbreak from one video to 100 every day. And you wonder why you're not happy. You blast sad, suicidal music and you wonder why you're not happy. Look what you're feeding yourself. Music is soul food. If you're feeding that to your spiritual higher up, what do you expect to get? You expect to be happy? Like, like really tell me, because if, if you think so, please feed me your delusion. I need it to cope with this real life that I'm living. If I offended you, I'm sorry, right? I just need you to stop. <laughs> because what you're doing is it's not good for you man you you feeling worse about yourself you're feeling worse about your situation and your happiness is locked away in a box you need healthy vibrations and frequencies and it's not even about the lyrics it's about the frequencies and vibrations for instance i hope y'all familiar with the outcast andre 3000 big boy all those guys they have a song called hey ya uh, It sounds very happy and uplifting. It's a good groovy vibe. But a lot of people don't know that's actually a very sad song. A lot of people don't know. Because it's put in a happy frequency, an uplifting frequency. So you sitting there dancing and the whole time it's really a sad song. If you don't believe me, go look at the uh, meaning behind Hey Ya. Go listen to the song. But read the lyrics. Do your own research. Those frequencies you are being fed really do matter. Stop making yourself more depressed. I was with a person one time. We were sitting in the room and, you know, some things happened. And 
this particular person turned on a sad playlist. And I just like roll my eyes like, oh, my. you really finna do this? I said, can you please turn it off? This is not helping the situation at all. They proceeded to uh, blast it and got even more upset. You know, and I was like, you realize you're doing it to yourself, right? And, and in the midst of all this crying, looks down at the phone, puts the saddest songs in cue in order to exactly what was going on to the point where the songs were actually speaking the situation that was taking place. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm like, dude, really? Like, are you really doing this right now? You really doing this right now? Like, we could turn this music off and talk like adults. But I, I don't blame these people, man. I blame the environment that we've grown up in. And the environment that has been created for us to indulge in. And it has taught these behaviors. These behaviors are learned patterns from the world we live in. So I'm, I'm just making, you know, I'm, I'm helping to make people aware of what's going on. And I hope that you could, uh, you know, change that. But if you stayed this long and you want to see me unbox this guitar, um, I would love to for you guys. This is actually uh, one of my dream guitars. When I was younger, one of the first guitars that I seen was a red um, electric guitar on Drake and Josh. And from that point on, I wanted a red electric guitar. My parents bought me acoustic guitars when I was young, but I thought I was a rock star. I used to spin the tuners a lot and pull the strings and beat them, and I broke them. So they stopped buying me guitars, and I bought a few for myself, but never did get my hands on a red one. So... This is gonna be very, very, very special. And you guys get to see me open this and see my initial reaction. So, I'm excited. Okay, we got a lot of styrofoam in the way here. Okay, it's a box in a box. It's another box in a box. A lot of bubble wrap and stuff. <laughs> it's Christmas. Ah. I'm excited, I really am. Get her. She's hiding. Now I'm, uh, I'm trying to conceal my happiness. No, I'm not. Why would I conceal my happiness? I'm not around haters anymore. But even when I'm around haters, I don't even conceal my happiness. What am I doing? What am I thinking? I'm not thinking at all. Yeah, y'all got to secure, don't you? Oh no. That's gonna need a vacuum. Who cares? Yeah. But I hope you guys stayed to the end, man. Because if you did, like I said, you get to see this beauty. Ooh. <laughs> that gloss maple neck, though. Ooh. That gloss bent. Oh. Whoa. Look at this piece. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. How, how can I hold it? Bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me back up a little bit. Thumbnail. <laughs> nah, this is beautiful. 
I'm actually pretty ecstatic about this. This is quite the beauty. <sighs> Man. <sighs> I guess it's time for me to plug up and make some sad music, man. <laughs> man, I appreciate y'all for watching if y'all made it this far. This really means a lot, man. This guitar is not just a guitar. I am literally feeding my inner child. So, um, <sighs> yeah, man. I appreciate y'all for joining. Like I said, I hope y'all watch it because y'all just shared a very special moment with me. And um, yeah, man, if y'all want to hear me play some sad music, just let me know. That's out of tune. But all right, guys, <laughs> don't listen to sad music. I love you guys. It's never goodbye. I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe too, man. Damn. I'm just playing. You don't have to, but you should. All right.